the side of the game. So, you know, and I always, as a player, I always kind of remember that when I was having bad halves. That like the minutes always count. You can make up for stuff. And you were, you had two quick fouls, and that pretty much ended your first half. Would yeah. You, did, was that, did that throw you out of rhythm a little bit? You know, were you kind of cold and going back in? Uh, you know, I wasn't. I can't say I was kind of fresh. You know, I was coming back. Everybody else had played, but. It did, it did just mess it up. It kind of messes up my teammates, not me and not being on the floor. So it's a different chemistry. Different people have to come, even though they did a good job. You know, I'm someone that my teammates knew. I, I am counted on, and as, a, as, a, as everybody else is. And since I'm a starter, I'm kind of, it kind of throws a different thing when you're starting. Mm -hmm. right? You always know that with somebody with two fouls. So it, it kind of did throw off the rhythm of the game. And, you know, I could have came back in the second half and still affected the game. But today, today was just one of them days where you, know, you look back on it. And I just won't let it happen again, not like this. What about next year? What do you what what aspects do you want to work on to make to make you from a you know very good player at times to a very good consistent player at all times? Um I would say I'm, I'm going to dedicate myself to getting stronger. Definitely. Work on my agility. Uh, I definitely want to work on my belt ball handling. You know, if I could take guys off the dribble it, that's something I need to be able to do. Yeah, I feel like I can be you know, pretty, pretty hard to guard if I can get that down. So, so I'm ball handling, you know, just face up, just, just facing up, uh, jump shots, catch and shoot. I don't want it three, anything 15, 17 feet right in that mid range. You know, I see Carmelo do it. Everybody wants to obsess with three point line. I want to, I want to master 17 and then. I feel like if I can do that, I can be very effective. But getting stronger, mastering 17 and then, and you know, working on my feet too, jump rope, getting quicker. A lot of my stuff, I want to get quicker. <laughs> more agile so I can really, really move, almost move like a guard. Because uh, I got a good set of athletics naturally, so I want to build on it. That's what I want to do. Okay. Well, thank you. What sort of lesson do you take away from this first you know, Big Ten tournament experience that you feel could carry over next year and beyond? Uh, the game is, the game is, my lesson for today that I didn't already uh, today was just one of them days where you gotta stay focused, stay on the whole joint goal. It was a close game, so I still could have affected the game even though I wasn't having the best of a game. And you know, that's something I kind of knew, but today I really learned it uh, on a on a bigger level. You know, a lot of people watching the game, so just just stay stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. Don't give up. Keep my head, keep my head.